Okay, this is a test of these 100 stroke 200 watt PTC eaters off eBay that are about uh, £3.50 or $4 or whatever you want to call them. And, well, let's see what they do. Well, the first thing I've done is moved it onto a block of wood. So I've just shoved the wires into the end of a whatever that is. It's as safe as I need it to be. What I'm going to do is go turn the inverter on because that has a wattage display on the front. So we'll see how many watts this 200 watt heater does actually take. Okay, now this inverter is a, a soft start inverter. So I'm going to turn it on and then put this plug in which goes through all the other sockets in my van. Right, here we go. We should see 200 watts eBay says. 60, 300, 440, 530. Oh, that's um, that's quite a bit of a jump. And now we're settling down to 115, 92. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed, these are not, well, what's going on? This is not 200 watts of heat, is it? What temperature is it at anyway? Uh, here we are. We have a possible surface temperature. Oh, oh, 216 degrees. If we could suck all the heat out of it as fast as possible, going by what that meter says, this thing would probably do four, five hundred watts. Eh, let's turn it on and see what happens. More than the 46 it did before. 320. 530 and then straight back down and we went to 46 watts before I think we're settling at 92 oh no, no, no. you swine okay I've got some heat transfer goop I think it is I hope it's not anisole well, bang a bit on here. Come on. I'd spread it with my fingers, but we're now at 226. Okay. No, it hasn't. Oh dear. Well, we got to 69. Oh, it's gone back to 46 again. Yeah, maybe these aren't going to work after all. Oh, I've tried adding more goop under it and I've off centered it to one side. Not that I think that makes any difference. I just think it may be, you know, convection of the water keep pulling heat out of it if it's more offside if I'm only getting 70 watts now it's because I'm only taking 70 watts of heat out of it and so it's only having to put 70 watts of electricity back in to maintain a steady temperature so I need better thermal transfer into my water Just not sure how I can achieve it. Answers on a postcard and I'll try them. So I don't want to get this working because I don't want to heat this tiny tub here. I've got a bigger one. 